Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a brilliant day today. Welcome to episode 25 of our Bordeaux career mode here on FIFA 18. In today's episode, we have two league games. We kick it off at home to Angers and then end the episode away at Gangar. The way both my career modes are going at the moment, the season we're currently in with Man City and the season we are in with Bordeaux. We're coming to the business end of both seasons and I'm struggling to pick up wins. So in today's episode, I think... I'd be very happy with four points, which is obviously a win and a draw. Let's see where our two opponents are today. Gangar are in sixth place. I just saw that before I opened up the full table. And Angers are in ninth place, 29 games, 12 wins, 8 draws, and 9 defeats. So both having pretty decent seasons. So it could turn out to be two very tough games. But let's get going here, home to Angers, and hopefully we can pick up three points. Malcolm on the ball into Vader. Left hand side is Camano. Loads of space to work with through to Diego Villan. It hasn't worked out. Fulgini again gets in the way, but we've nicked it away from him. Through to Vader. Surely for 1 0. Vader across the keeper. 1 0. Brilliant finish into the top corner. It's been such a dead game, but 19 minutes gone. Hopefully, this goal is going to bring it to life. A brilliant bit of play and a very good finish from Vader. Anger moving forward down the right hand side and okay Tori wants to play it straight to Maita Tavio decent ball into Malcolm and it's not the best of first touch it just lets it run across him but here we go Anger moving forward and thankfully Gaic with a very good interception after going 1-0 up I've kind of crumbled to be honest I haven't been in the game whatsoever oh my god see what I mean I've just crumbled after going 1-0 up right with one possession back, let's try and get my foot on the ball and grab that second goal before the break. That would be absolutely perfect. Camano overlap from Pound. Look at the space in front of him. A good first heavy touch across at the back post. Malcolm is arriving, but he stopped his run. He stopped his run. If he carried on, I think he would have got on the end of that cross because it was a brilliant cross as well. Here we go. Mita left-hand side is Camano. Edge of the box now is Diego Villan. Onto his right foot. Shoot. Diego Villan, but they get the danger away. Only as far as Atavio. Let's keep this attack alive. Camano, brilliant turn through the middle is Vader, but it's a poor pass. And they're going to get the danger away. Half hour gone. And last five minutes or so, I've been in total control of this game. And with one possession back, here we go. Vader to the right-hand side. No through to Diego Rolan. Great turn, Diego Rolan. And he skied it. What an opportunity. Great turn, but the finish just wasn't there. Camano inside to Vader. To his right-hand side is Otavio. First time to Malcolm. Here we go. I'm going to spread the play to Camano. Going to lay it off to Pound. It's a brilliant bit of play. Pound on the ball, patient play, running through the middle is Vader, I think. Now Diego Villan, is it going to make it through? Yep, just about into Mitre, right-hand side is Malcolm, into Diego Villan. First time finish from Diego Villan, great save from the goalkeeper. What a bit of play that was, by the way. That would have been a brilliant goal if it ended up in the back of the net. Here we go, corner kick incoming from Vader. It's a decent delivery as well. And they get the danger away, only as far as Verdon. And somehow we've kept possession into Maita. Edge of the box is Diego Rolan onto his right foot. Oh, it's a beautiful turn. Diego Rolan just past the post. What a time that would have been to grab that bit of breathing space. Commander on the ball, backwards to Otavio, into Malcolm. First time to Diego Rolan. Another good turn onto his right foot. Diego Rolan didn't quite turn. I wanted him to turn, but he just didn't turn for some reason. And then he's shooting. Away at goal while facing the sideline. Absolutely ridiculous. Looks as though we are heading into the break, though, with a 1-0 lead, even though it should be probably one or two more. Camano picking up the loose ball into Otavio. Now Vader to his left-hand side is Diego Rolan. A little 1-2 between the two players. It's not quite going to work out. I thought it was, to be honest, but the defender has recovered brilliantly well to get the danger away. Into Diego Rolan. No, it's gone into Vader. Now into Maita. First time through to Diego Rolan. Onto his left foot. It's beautiful. Diego Rolan. High and wide, but a blistering start to the second half. Otavio brilliantly spread out to Pound on the left-hand side. Now down the line here to Camano. Inside to Vader. Where's Diego Rolan? Why is he so deep? Why is he not more forward? Short into Otavio. Opening up onto his right foot. Through here to Malcolm. First time finish, but the defender 
They just seem to be intercepting everything. The final ball for me there, especially in the second half, just isn't there, man. What is going on? Kamano out to the right-hand side. First time through to Diego Land. Back through to Malcolm. First time finish across the keeper. Malcolm! High, high, high. 20 minutes left to play. And I think some changes. I think I'm going to make a triple sub. Kamano looking a bit tired on the left-hand side for Cafu. We're going to move Diego Roland out to the right-hand side in Malcolm. No, actually, we'll leave Malcolm on. We'll take Vader off for Pereira. And I think that will do. Actually, you know what? Diego Roland hasn't really done anything. He hasn't been effective in this game. So we'll bring him off and put on Mendy for these last 20 minutes. Otavio short into Maita. Left-hand side is Cafu. Heavy first touch, but thankfully we've kept possession. Otavio out to the right-hand side. First time through to Diego Roland. No, it's Mendy, sorry. Just made the sub. That's why it's kind of messed me up. Mendy out to the left-hand side and pound. Going to play it through here to Pereira now. Into Cafu. Long-range effort. And it's a weak attempt. Easy save for the goalkeeper. Pound on the left-hand side. Through to Cafu. Now Diego Rolamba is going to fall here to Pereira. Great first touch to take it past two players. He's still going. Holds it up very well. Into Pound. Through to Maita. Now loads of space here for Otavio. Going to try and get it out to Malcolm. First time into Mendy. First touch. And across the keeper. Mendy! Off the crossbar. What a strike. Oh my god. Full time whistle has gone and the way my Man City career mode is going at the moment. I'm just happy with a bloody win. But overall an okay performance. Not the best. But I don't think our lead was ever in jeopardy. On to the next one which is in Ligue 1 against Gangar. Let's go and pick up another three points. Mano down line to Diego Roland hasn't worked out, but Pereira's picked up the loose ball first time over the top. What a pass from Diego Roland into Camano. A touch and a strike. Straight at the goalkeeper for a simple save. In the end, that is the first shot of the game. Pelnard on the left-hand side. Quite a bit of space here for Camano. Decent pass short into Pereira. No, it's gone through to Diego Roland and Tabanu, the left back. What a block. Was that going in? I think that was going straight past the goalkeeper. For 1-0, what a block that was from the defender. Here we go, corner kick incoming, the first corner of the game. And it's going to be too close to the goalkeeper, but he punches it and it's a free kick. Okay then, ref, whatever. 12 minutes gone and the opening 5 minutes or so, or just under 5 minutes, Gangar actually started very, very well. But since then, we've dominated the game. Maita picks up the loose ball into Pereira. Diego Roland just standing still, not making a run. Camano, Diego Roland. Oh, great touch. Diego Roland, low and hard, and a decent save from the goalkeeper. That first touch was absolutely beautiful. 15 minutes gone. Second corner of the game incoming. It's another good delivery. Maita. Oh, my God. I think it was the last episode. He scored a brilliant header, and I think this one tops it. 15 minutes gone, and what a header from the midfield man. Rightly so, we have taken the lead. Cafu forward to Pereira. Going to hold it up and wait for a run through the middle. It's come from Maita. No, it's Camano on his left foot. Camano, brilliant strike. But once again, a very good save from Johnson. Here we go, corner kick again. Incoming from Camano. It's another good delivery. Maita again, but this time it was straight at the goalkeeper for a simple save. Pelnard on the left-hand side into Pereira. I'm going to lay it off here to Otavio. Through to the right-hand side in Cafu. And the keeper comes out so, so well. If he didn't come out, that was getting through to Cafu. And surely that would have been 2-0 just before the break. But brilliant goalkeeping once again. Maita into Cafu. Now Diego Roland running through the middle is Pereira. First time finish on his left foot. Pereira, what a strike. But again, what... A great bit of goalkeeping. Seconds before the break. Can we get that bit of breathing space before the halftime whistle is going to be blown? Nope, because Maita once again gets up. I think that's his third header from a corner in this first 45 minutes. But that one was a dreadful one. Kane's on the left-hand side, but a good tackle from Otavio. So Bailey back into Otavio. Loads of space here for Pereira. Forward to Diego Lam, but it's not going to make it through. Borges with a decent interception. Now forward to Didda. That's a brilliant pass into Privet. Left-hand side is Kane's over that from Tabanu, but he obviously didn't see it. Decent ball out to the right-hand side and Blas, and he's turned me. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? He's got loads of space. Blas off the crossbar, and thankfully Sir Bailey is going to get the danger away. 
Oh my god, that could have easily been 1-1. Here we go, Privat, they are still on the move forward. What a start to the second half from Gangar, and they are still on the move forward. It's a very good cross, and thankfully Costil collects. Gangar moving forward on the edge of the boxes. Did that, a little one-two between the two players. A strike towards goal, and thankfully Costil pulls off a very good save. 62 minutes played, and considering the start they've had to the second half, it should be 1-1. They have been all over us. I cannot get my foot on the ball. Corner kick incoming. Is it going to be a good delivery? It's not the best. And hopefully we are going to get the danger away. And we do. Borges on the left-hand side. And Mitre with a decent tackle. 67 minutes played. I just cannot seem to get it away from our box. Hopefully this is going to be the time. And the moment we get it out of danger. Half away. It's only going to fall to a red shirt. Kerbrat, the big man in defence. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? He's still going. Lays it off here to Keynes. Into Privat. Turns onto his left foot. A strike towards goal. Again off the crossbar. Who's it going to fall to here? It's going to fall to a red shirt. Just under 70 minutes played. And rightly so. They've levelled up the game. I'm speechless. I'm speechless of how good they've been in the opening 20 minutes of this second half. So lucky the way it fell back to him and the keeper just couldn't get up quick enough. And it's a very good header into that corner. 1-1 one, one with 20 minutes left to play. Good tackle from Diego Alain. Right, here we go. Let's go up the other end and retake the lead. Left-hand side is Kamano. Dummy shot onto his left foot. Oh my god, this is turning out to be such a frustrating second half. It's like a completely different team. Decent ball down line to Privet, but as you can see, he's got no support at the moment. But he's cutting on his left foot, back onto his right foot, whipped in a very good cross. It's going straight to Keynes. A header towards goal, and thankfully it's a simple save for the goalkeeper, and someone's down injured. It's Sabaley once again. He's not long been back from injury. 15 minutes left to play, and you know what? I'm going to make a triple sub. Obviously, we're going to have to bring Sabaley off for Gajic. And I think Malcolm on the left-hand side for Kamano. Very, very tired. And I think we'll move Diego Land to the right-hand side and bring Cafu off and Mendy on. 15 minutes left to play to try and go and find a winning goal. Otavio into Mita. Loads of space out on the left-hand side here for Pelnard. Going to play it through to Mendy. It's worked out very, very nicely. Overlap on the left-hand side for Malcolm. Across, seeing to the edge of the box. Going straight to Pereira. Hasn't quite worked out. They get the danger away. I just, I'm just, i speechless of how good they've been. I've probably said it once or twice now, but completely different team. I just cannot seem to get my foot on the ball. A long ball forward, and hopefully base should be intercepted. It's not base, it's Jovanovic. Is it going to be our throwing? Nope, it's going to be their throwing. Unbelievable. Ten minutes. The way the second half has gone, I'll be actually... Really happy with a point. Good first touch from Turam, if that's how you pronounce his name. And thankfully, Gaich intercepts. And here we go. Can we break away? Otavio forward to Mendy. Going to play it through here to Pereira. Here we go. Going to try and turn it onto his left foot. Luckily, we are going to keep possession. Mendy is running into the box. I'm going to whip it into him now. Mendy! And Kerbrat gets the danger away. Can we keep it? Yes, we can. Mitre on the ball now. Here we go. Left-hand side is Malcolm. Somehow, that's actually going to get through to him. Mendy needs to make a run into the box. He's a big man. Gets blocked. Backwards here to Pelnard. Loads of space here for Mitre. Going to play it into Otavio. Open up onto his right foot. And it's not worked out. And it's a decent turn there from Didda. But thankfully, oh, I thought we were going to win possession. But we're not. A ball through here to Privat. No, it's Toram. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? Toram into the top corner. What a strike. Oh my god. Two minutes left to play. And they've done that. What a strike. I can't get over that. That was right into the top corner. Costil, absolutely no chance. I have to see a replay. It's a simple ball forward. Poor defending on my part. It's gone through base's legs. Is it base? No, it's Jovanovic. It's gone through Jovanovic's legs. And look at the placement of that. No goalkeeper in the world would have saved that. Two minutes left to play. And I think Gangar are going to pick up the three points. And to be honest, based on the second half, rightly so. Wow. What a second half performance from Gangar. They totally deserve the win. And there's nothing more I can say. I just wasn't good enough. Especially in the second 45 minutes. And I just took a look at the shots stat. Because I couldn't remember having a shot in the second half. And I actually didn't. I actually didn't have a shot in the second half. That's how good Gangar were and how poor I was. But overall, I'd say they just about edged the game.
So after picking up only three points in today's episode, we are three points clear at the top, but with a game in hand. And look who have shot up to challenge for the title after a very slow start to the season. PSG, absolutely incredible. And we kick the next episode off with that game in hand. It is at home to Ren, and then to end the episode, we are also at home to Lille. So a very important episode. We need to kick the next episode off with three points in that game in hand. But before we end today's episode, like always, let's do some training. I think we are going to get some growth. A few players on the brink of the next oval rating. There we go. Anthony up to 69. Taha also up to 69. Prior halfway to 78. Overall, another brilliant training session. But that is going to conclude today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.